Hey there fellow Factorians, Onerous here with another episode of Let's Learn Factory Town. We are, we are at episode 14, I think the time has flown, I'm really enjoying, uh, really enjoying this game, it's, you know, it's not, it's not overly complicated, uh, but it's got enough to keep me interested, so, hope you're enjoying it too, let me know in the comments what you're thinking of the game, whether you've played it yourself, let me know. Um, we, we have a target today though, it is these wonderful wands, we need to get these wands so that we can get up to tech level uh, 9, and I'm just, ooh, that happiness, if that ticks over, I'm going to click that like nothing else, uh, the average, no, it's dropping back down, ooh, man, we just, we peaked, we peaked, it must have been the health potions uh, that just tipped us over the edge, and now our supply is is very limited, so keep an eye on that, if I see it go over 750, I'll try and snavel it straight away, but we may have to do some more, uh, do some more things to make people happy, which we are going to do, because we're going to be making wands, now, uh, where, where are, where is the one? Oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. All right, uh, extra houses. I do, don't mind if I do. Um, who is our limiting factor here? It's got to be, yeah, it's you. You're actually not reaching, you're not reaching those houses there, but you've got heaps of room up here. So I think we actually need to move these houses over here. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin that one that way. We're going to do a bit of a road up here. And we should be able to get uh, a few more houses up here. All right. uh, so, that... Yeah, everyone's everyone's in, in line of that one. Uh, where's the general general store? There we go. Uh, I mean, he is actually doing nothing much for us. But it would be nice. It would be nice. All right, let's see if we can squeeze a few more houses around here. Uh, yeah, I mean... We'll just squeeze them in where we can. There. Uh, I can reclaim some of these things because some of these things aren't really used for much, but let's not worry about the general store too much. Uh, no. Seems like a wasted bit of space there. Um, there you go. Now we're, now we're out. So let's go up to there. And yeah, immediately that's going to boost our. Our happiness as some of these items that kind of max out on uh, speed up through, and they'll they'll level up pretty quickly with the experience that they're getting from some of these higher level happiness items. Um, of which of which the wands are definitely going to be one. Of them. So we need to build an enchanter, uh, but first let's have a look what's needed. So where we're going to build this? So it needs planks, polished stone, and mana crystals. Well, polished stone and mana crystals are available here, so we definitely want to build the enchanter over here. Uh, but the problem is we've got our planks. Our reinforced planks are, yeah, way over here somewhere. So I feel like this is, I mean, this is the natural spot for it, isn't it? Um, Enchanter, our 50 man magic blocks, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Enchanted book, what does that do? Um, town specialty knowledge, sellable at a school for 50 research points. Uh, so it's just the next level of basic research, which is pretty good. Uh, it does give two happiness. Two happiness. Can I see it better over here? Yeah. No, uh, yeah, look, it's it does last for a long time. Um, let's let's not worry about it. Let's just focus. Uh, and I've been calling these wands, but they're actually wards, and no doubt someone's annoying me about that. Um, Depleted mana. Oh yeah, we need to uh, we need to figure that one out too. What else? We, we were using mana over here. Is this producing depleted mana? It is. And we're actually maxed out on depleted mana. Aha, okay. Now what do we do? What do we do with depleted mana? It's, it's some kind of recharger, isn't it? A recharger. Restores depleted mana of crystals back into a fully charged state. Okay. Uh, hmm. This is this is interesting, okay? Because 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 let's let's just get rid of these carrots. They're they're really they're never doing anything, doing anything for us. Um, what I want to do, I want to build a recharger. These wells, these wells are not not well positioned. Pardon the pun. Um, okay, we'll move that one there, and let's just clear this pipe away. There we go. I don't think that pipe makes any difference, but 
probably don't even need the two wells to be honest so build a recharger and I'll build it here all right so what I want to do is I want to output depleted crystals and then input uh, the other the, not depleted crystals that's not what I wanted to put down uh, let's cover those bricks go and then grab a grabber here uh, that's not a grabber and you're grabbing charge crystals uh, mana crystals this doesn't output mana crystals yeah it outputs a mana crystal but all of a sudden, all of a sudden we've got too many mana crystals. Is this, is this a closed loop? It is. What does the recharger need? Um, it just costs yellow coins. Okay. How interesting. So, this, this guy here I don't think is needed. Um, can I get you just to drop off all your mana crystals here? All right, so now we have 15 minutes. Let's let's see how this goes. All right. Uh, so we have we've maxed out our mana crystals. As soon as we use one, one goes in, and one goes out. Uh, yeah, this is uh, that is that is as simple as that. All right. We'll put pop, pop. We will pop you here, and go there and there. Grab her here and here. You're gonna be grabbing depleted crystals. It does take it does take a full face of this, which means no more outputs for here. But we'll um, see how that goes. This might not actually be the best location for it because just getting getting the stuff that we need in, which uh, which is not mana crystals anymore, it's just polished stone. Okay, so none of that. Uh, you go none. Let's get the. Polished stone. Alright. And that's all you're doing. You're just grabbing polished stone. Uh, pick up polished stone. Drop off polished stone. And then we just need another caravan that's grabbing from way over here. Uh, so I am going to get him to grab all of the... All of the reinforced that he can. Um, where on earth are our reinforced... Over here? It's over there. Okay. Uh, wow, that's... Yeah, we've got 200 of them. Okay, that's fine. It was you, so pick up, fill your wagon, and then come over here and drop off. Alright, and I won't get him to hold until full, because I want him just to... Uh, I want you to get him to hold until empty. I want him to keep going. Alright, you're making wards. You will be making wards any second now. Uh, and then we just need another one that picks up the wards and drops them off at the specialty shop over here uh, which will give us some purple coins eight purple coins per ward all right so we're just waiting for we're just waiting for this guy where on earth are you going um this stone supply is very minimal now you know what you know what i think it's time i think it's time we did some drastic something drastic here and put a path that ran across this water uh just straight across here and then somehow tied in here probably here uh, uh, is that uh, is that really going to add anything if i put it there really needs to come up to here doesn't it yep all right so we do this uh we need to copy this arrangement here with the uh, with this starting here and finishing there. Yep. Wow. All right. There, there. There, 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 there. And something like that. Beautiful. All right. More roads, more roads. Roads and roads. Okay. And then what I want to do is just bring a road that goes like this right across probably on that line and one on that line all right 
Okay, over the water, nice little bridge over the lake. Very, not very environmentally friendly, but uh, look at that. We are now at 18 wards produced. That's pretty good. Um, what, are, what is this lock behind? Magic jewelry. Do we have do we have enough tech? Oh, we're at 3.6k tech. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good because we've got a lot of tech that we haven't unlocked, like Civics 3. That's just free, isn't it? That's just free. Uh, cargo ships, blah, blah, blah. Harvest drills, probably pretty good. Mechanical rail, uh, I believe the only advantage of mechanical rail is that it moves uphill at the same speed. Deep mining does seem very interesting. And we've got a heap of industrial tech. Uh, we might as well grab that. Mine shafts. Mine shafts can be built underground to extend the range of mines. Nearby underground resources can be accessed and harvest infinitely. Flying pickaxe will speed up underground mining. How do we know where an underground resource is? I guess we'll have to figure that one out. Um, this is clearly not the right, uh, not the right layer. World data. Ooh, yeah, we got some, we got some stuff that I haven't even played with. Uh, information, good status. Right, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. New research is available. Uh, cargo ships, industrial tomes, level three. Kind of, kind of okay with what we have. We reach our tech level. Uh, magic jewelry, though. Yeah, let's get magic jewelry. Let's make a magic cloak. Let's make a magic cloak and and the other one as well. And we'll, we'll unlock this as well. Uh, an elemental extractor, elemental extraction. Sorry. So this presumably will give us access to, uh, would give us access to the mining of the elemental um, air stones and whatnot. Requires a heap of natural knowledge. Can't even have enough for natural knowledge, tome three, which does produce a ton of natural knowledge, but also costs two k, and we only need three k for this. So I don't think we're gonna. If this was our only aim, we probably wouldn't get back our required um, outlay for the natural knowledge, but we might need to go there in the future. And I realize I'm talking and doing a lot of stuff, but and not doing a lot of stuff, but let's uh, let's get a few more of these things going. Uh, how is our happiness boost going these days? Uh, 100%. <sighs> Sweet. Okay. Quite, I'm quite okay with that. Uh, yeah, I don't know who over here is actually going to be covered, but We'll, uh, we'll do it nonetheless. Like that. I'll get that one. It's okay. Uh, there and there. What are we? We got two more to make. Two more to make. Uh, one there and probably one here. Like that. That. There we go. All right. I don't even need roads. I could have just done paths, but you know, it's, I feel like the days of the path is is numbered. We should be uh, we should be putting in roads wherever we can. I don't think anyone goes through here, but uh, you know, maybe maybe they will. Maybe they will. Uh, this is getting used a little bit. I don't, I don't mind it. All right. So we do we do need to make magic rail, which actually requires the firestones. Conveyor belt require the air. These guys require, or well, maybe that's I don't know, earth, and maybe that's air. Uh, and you require something else as well. So we we are going to have to get into the elemental uh, elemental goods, and we've got. We've got fire stones here. We've got earth stones here. More fire stones. Water stones over there. And uh, air stones, all right. So air, fire, earth, and water. We do we have covered off on all of them. Let's purchase that one so we can see. Ooh, oh my goodness. Uh that is that is very rich for us. Uh all we're missing is the air. In that region, we could keep purchasing more. Just see if we can get some air stones in the area. Look at that! All right, uh, air, water, earth, fires over there. Can we get? Can we get lucky with some fire up here? No, we can't. All right. Lots of coal though. Lots of coal and a fire temple. I think we might need a fire temple to convert for the fire ether comes from the fire stone 
and then we need a firestone fire ether and a mana crystal to create trade it here at the fire temple i don't know if we can build temples ourselves yeah we can okay lock behind research though behind lots of research we are gonna have to ramp up our research uh to the level threes yep all right uh, I'm just interesting to zoom out the these metal conveyor belts are going blue well actually a lot of the blocks are going blue at that kind of distance I'm sure if that's meant to happen but it is happening all right magical knowledge uh cloaks of all the things cloaks What's going on with our cloak workers uh not enough leather What's going on with our leather a lot of uh yellow coin a lot of boosting uh, and not a lot of uh, not a lot of food. That's the problem, isn't it? Not enough potatoes. Not enough potatoes. Well, you know what? We can fix that. Um, not not build. I don't want to build. I want to bring this up. I want to do some flatten train up, and let's just convert all this into mining. Uh, not mining. You know, potatoes. Put it all into potatoes. Uh, build potatoes and a potato plant. All right, there's a few more potatoes. Uh, we could uh, we could could get a couple more potatoes. Just sneak them in there. there go. You've got uh, heaps of heaps of everything except water now because yes, that's right. I um. I did get rid of the water, didn't I? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to need a lot of water here because they they use a fair bit of water. Uh, so let's do that. Like this. And these don't, they, they don't actually produce much water, really. Um, probably one pipe would have sufficed. Uh, but now we have now we have the water. Maybe I, maybe, I was, maybe I was too much on the water, but these don't actually use workers, so... Uh, we, we're fine. All right, potatoes coming in thick and thick and fast. Our output. I mean, we're not. We are kind of. We are kind of stopping the output. So let's see if having a second shoot here would actually make a difference. I wonder if a shoot or a metal conveyor belt is faster. Question. Um. Okay, let's just do a shoot here. You there, we'll delete that for now. Uh, we might need to just make sure that that is doing that. There we go. And we want to we want to do like the nine and zero. Got to, got to accept that first. Make sure they're all going in here if they if they can. Right, now we're definitely outputting the max the max that we can. Uh, there are potatoes. Still, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot of potatoes that are actually fully grown. No, but there should be enough. Let's pop on a couple of uh, a couple of boosters. See how that goes. See how that goes. Uh, we are now. Getting a reasonable supply of potatoes. Still not enough. Still not enough to get this guy going as fast as he could. So let's drop these boosters down because they're not really helping anyone if the um, if the food animal feed can't keep up. Anyway, now we've got a heap of leather though. Uh, that's manure. That is manure, not not leather. Uh, now we've got some leather. Still pretty slow. Anyway. We need to do this all again if we want to make magic cloaks. So I don't want to touch this for magic cloaks. Uh, if I wanted to build a magic cloak, they are built here, aren't they? Uh, magic cloak, yep. Yeah. All right, so we need cloaks, we need wool, and mana crystals. So uh, yeah, let's spread out a bit. We we might build it over here. Build it over here, or maybe up here. How would I get a road up here? I guess we cut down some trees here. Yeah, All right. Uh, get rid of some trees. And we get a nice road up here. There we go. Okay. So, if I want to, if I want to build 
magic cloak. And a magic cloak or a magic robe. Um, magic cloak. So wool, uh, wool and leather. Because wool turns into cloth. Wool and leather. Wool and leather. And that's it. Wool and leather. All right. So um, we'll, we'll build some pastures. Build some pastures on this side of... Oh, they actually, they do use a fair bit of water, don't they? That was the issue we had over here. Pasture needed just a ton of water. Uh, so maybe building it on this water supply here. And then we can level the ground up here. Uh, such that we can put another one in that's also getting water. Is this one getting water? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we need you to make wool. We need you to make leather. All right. So you have water, but you yeah, you now have water. Uh, that's good. All right. We need to make some animal feed for these guys. Uh, animal feed. We've actually got, we've got carrots right here. Um... And they're just getting used for animal feed already. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Uh, this animal feed here. Get a couple workers. Are you getting the boost? Oh, you are getting the boost. That's delightful. Um, let's just put a shoot coming out over to here. Uh, over to here. And then no, up. To there and then over to there and then then we actually need to pop on scaffolding so we can get that all right and then you spin around like that you go like that we put a splitter here there we go and you've got animal feed you've got water you got everything you need all right and they're producing manure which we're just going to ignore um all right, so we're making wool and we're making leather. So the wool we need to turn into cloth at a workshop, right? Uh, the wool turns into cloth in a workshop, yeah. All right, so we have a workshop that we'll put here. So you're turning uh, wool into cloth, yep. And you know what? I'm going to move you back one. I'm going to need a few things coming in here. All right, so we do that. Thank you. Uh, wool is probably going to require a conveyor belt. Wool, thank you. Uh, now that is making cloth. And then we need a tailor. Need a tailor here. Actually not square. It is not. Uh, no, no, it is three by three. Yeah, it looks, it does not look square. Uh, and again, let's move you back one. Uh, but because we moved it back, we do need to make sure that the road actually goes to the front. So he's attached. Okay, so you're now making a cloak, uh, which comes from comes from here. And I do want to make sure that we can sneak that through here at some point. Um, like that, okay. Middle there, you can take the leather. And then we'll get uh, a conveyor belt over here, taking a cloth. And now you're making that. Okay. All right. And then the enchanter would be getting that and that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I'm now I'm with it. All right. Uh, so build a crate. Uh, crate here. It's a little different than what I envisioned, but um, but is this will work? Uh, uh, will it? Let's, uh, let's move this crate over to there. Move this crate over to there. Okay, that's what I want it. Uh, move this crate here. You go there with a grabber here. Grabbing wool. Okay, now we need to speed these up. Uh, this takes six seconds. Eight, eight workers, sure. 
Um, 100% bonus. That's so nice. Um, there's our leather. There's our wall. And there's our cloaks. So we want cloaks and... Cloaks and... Cloaks and... Wool. And a grabber going there for cloaks. All right. Now we've got cloaks and we've got wool. So let's build our good old friend, the caravan. He's going to come here. He's going to uh, pick up some cloaks. He's going to pick up some wool. And then he's going to rock on over here and he's going to drop everything off at the enchanter. Drop everything off at the enchanter. And let's just make sure that he doesn't overload on one item, uh, which shouldn't be an issue. We'll, but we will just split it equally. And wool. There we go. All right. So if you have cloak, you have cloaks and wool, you can make. You're already getting the. Whoops. You're already getting the mana crystals, uh, and yes, that still works with our depleted ratio. Uh, you can't get sped up, but we can. We can boost you with coins. Okay, cool. Uh, and interestingly, the coins aren't being used while they're not working, so there's probably not too much reason to uh, to hold back on that. Okay. Are we still paused? We are. All right, let's see how you're doing, buddy. Uh, not a lot of wool. Not a lot of wool. Maybe, maybe we need a second wool farm. Yeah, it's probably, probably what we need. All right. Let's cut down these trees here and then copy you here. Uh, change this slightly. You're going to be making wool. Uh, you are going to need water, though. Unless I try and be really, really tricky here. Uh, and flatten down over like that. And uh, move, move you... I move you away and then back. Yes, there we go. Water. Uh, yeah, it's dodgy. It's dodgy. Um, but it's the game. It's the game. The game made me do it. Uh, go. So you now need to go up to there and across into there with a splitter going here. And this needs to ramp up. Production of carrots needs to ramp up one of the issues here uh, we probably need to stop the carrots going here or or at the very least um, the very least what if I were to Uh, we can probably we can probably do without carrots. Let's let's just let's just focus on what we need here. Um, so the wool is now going into here, and we just need just need this this here. Now get rid of that grabber. This grabber is grabbing wool, and put that the wrong way around, didn't I? that the wrong way around there we go and grab our grabs out there grab our grabs out there grabbing the wool there we go all right you can have a couple more people uh yeah that's enough for one a second got some people down here there we go all right uh, although the leather is actually a little bit slower. Uh, it needs more water, apparently. And yeah, water is an issue. Uh, we could make a water pump. Steam-powered water pump. That'd be pretty funky, wouldn't it? Uh, or we can just build some wells. Not building a well here actually produces any more water, necessarily. Uh, well, we should be able to see, shouldn't we? Um, 
Oh, it does. It does 0 0.73, 0 0.73. So that's like a 50% bonus, roughly. Uh, versus, should be some wells around here somewhere. I think it's just 0.5. You know what? If this one's over here, uh, it is. Uh, it is. It is nothing. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So this is producing 0.73 a second plus that. That's actually uh, that is that is a decent kind of boost, isn't it? Um, if I put if I put these four in here, should be able to connect them up. Something like that. Not sure how the selector here goes. Can we put a splitter? No. I think so. All right. Just waits until it backs up. Damn. All right. Yeah, 0.73 is actually... Because this one here produces 0.5, so it's more than double. More than double. That's that's a pretty good bonus. Um, we're at 30 We're at 30 minutes. We're at 30 minutes. Of course we are. Uh, but we've made we've made some we've made some cloaks, and what's your job? Who's uh who's taking stuff away here? Who's the yellow guy? All right, it's you. Uh, I want you to also pick up magic cloaks and drop off magic cloak, and your filter will be uh, wards and cloaks. Cloaks, magic cloaks. There we go, and uh, nothing else. Uh, nothing else. All right. Let's give you a uh, move that one up. Pick up, pick up, drop off, drop off. Beautiful. All right. Hope you don't freak out over that. Uh, there we go. And what's a what's a cloak give us? A cloak gives us seven purple coins. Yeah, we're getting we're getting a decent amount of purple coins. I don't know what purple coins are going to be used for. Maybe purple coin bo boosters. Uh, there is obviously some yeah research requiring purple coins. Probably all of the um, all of the elemental stuff probably require it. Look, we we've, we've even got more research times. Oh boy! All right. I think uh, we're we're pretty happy where we are now. Obviously, we need. Mechanical rail and magic rail uh, to get to get this one, uh, but it required research firepower. That's uh, that's an interesting one. All right, magic conveyor belt needs air power. That's right, because these required the crystals. Yeah, so oh, man, they're all going to need the next thing. So, but let's just remember though that tech level ten is the maximum tech level. So. We're getting very, very close. Uh, tech level 9 unlocks the Omni Planter. Uh, does it unlock the Omni Temple? Omni Pipe Transmission? Uh, there you go. Tech level 10 is the Omni Temple Construction. So we're, we're a little ways off that yet, but let's not let's not get too worried about that. And then there's the Infinite Techs. Um, the Infinite Techs that are just constant research. We'll, we'll get to that once we get to the... Uh, once we get to star coins with the Omni Temple, but yeah, we, we've we've got four more researchers that we need to research and start building. So it is actually still a fair bit left in this game. I was thinking like, oh, at the rate we're going, we'll be we'll be at the end in like 20, 30 episodes. But maybe this is more like going to be a 40, 50 plus kind of series as we start to hit more of the complex items at the end. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Uh, if you finish the game, don't spoil it for me. Don't spoil it for me. Don't tell me how easy or how difficult it's going to be. We'll find out as we go. Uh, this episode, we got the magic cloaks. We got... I mean, we, we teched up with our... Uh, what was the other thing we made? Uh, it was magic cloaks and... Wands. Wards. Yeah, magic wards. Also, the uh, this enchanter uh, recharger business is pretty, uh, pretty schmick, i got to say. We, we never need more... Never need more of those. Wow. And this is still working? This is still working? There it is. There it is. Wow. Okay. Uh, we've got remedies going. That seems like it just needs to speed up a bit, doesn't it? 
There we go. That's uh, we're probably going to run into some resource issues at some point, but that's a bit quicker there for the potions, which were giving us I don't know red coins or blue coins, blue coins. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's stop there because as always, I could just I could keep playing this game forever. Uh, but we are at the end of the episode, so as always, I want to say thank you to my amazing patrons. And uh, look, if you want to join, if you want to join, if you if you're watching the series up to now and uh, you haven't subscribed, by all means, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you want to join the Patreon, there's links down below. Uh, other ways you can support the channel down there as well. Of course, comment, like, interact. It's the the, the YouTube algorithm loves it, and uh, and I will love you, Gar not not guaranteed, um, but I will appreciate it. So, if you want to show support, there's the ways you can do it, and of course. I'll catch you next time.